Hi guys and welcome to update 19. So today we're going to be doing some resin. So we'll be right back with that guys. So this is where we got to on the last update, we've just done the plaster, uh, that's fully cured now so it's been painted white, we've done the blue and I've also gone over it again with some more white just to knock down that blue because I'm not really a fan of it really. <laughs> um, if we look down here, we've got our little doorway, just there, uh, we're just still waiting for the filler to dry on that guy. But while that's setting up, I thought what we'd do is do a bit of resin and do the bits that we can do now um, and then get that drying. Uh, so what I've got for that is the clear cast <coughs> resin. I'm going to do 100 grams of that along with one to two cupfuls of um, catalyst. And I'm also going to put some Chrysel snow in the mix as well to help try and cover up some of the blue because not really a fan of it at the moment uh, the, the only thing different that I'm doing this time instead of just pouring it on I'm going to just use a cheap brush and just brush the resin in and do a nice thin layer so it's not going to take a week to dry you know you can get on with it because once all the resin's done on this guy that's it it's finished I can just put it to one side uh, the wires have all been concealed behind the plaster so there we're in out the back there it's, I'll just use standard magnet wire for that because it's nice and thin and it's easily tucked away and hidden uh, yeah so I think that's it guys I'm just going to measure out some resin now uh, what better talk to you because I'll have my mask on um, and besides it'd be a bit boring if you just sat there watching me do that so I'll be back as soon as I've got something else to show you Okay guys, so <clears throat> I've mixed up my resin now. What I've done is I'll put some of that Chrysel snow in with it as well. And I'm just basically going to take this and just brush paint it on the surface. Okay, make sure you've got a mask on when you're doing this. <laughs> and this brush is really rubbish. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you get the idea anyway. So I'll go and finish this off guys and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I've just finished brush painting the resin on now. Um, <clears throat> I'll just take the camera off the tripod, just hang on a minute guys. So if we take a look at this guy. I don't even know if it's coming out on camera yet or not. But it should be very glossy. <laughs> It doesn't look like it's coming out through the camera. Oh, there, maybe, yeah. So, we're going to let this dry overnight, guys. <coughs> and see what it looks like in the morning. It should only take about 20 minutes for it to set up, like, but I'm going to give it all night just to make sure. But yeah, you can see the glossiness just about. <coughs> So once all this sets up, hopefully we'll have Hoth. But yeah, I'm not crazy about the blue. That was originally covered up with snow, if you remember, guys. So I might go back in and repaint that white. But then again, I don't know. I might just leave it. <laughs> So we've got our little doorway there. So that'll be it for t uh, until tomorrow guys. And It might need another coat maybe of resin. Some touch ups here and then certainly need to be done. But apart from that. I think that's the walls completed I think. We can move on to the base with all the electronics. 
uh, yeah. So I'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Stay tuned. Hi, right, guys. Welcome back. It's now Monday. And I'm pleased to say that the ice has worked out really well. And it's pretty much dried straight away. I don't know if that's coming across on camera or not. <laughs> But it's uh, extremely glossy in person, if I get closer, maybe. Yeah, and if we have a look back. In fact, I'll turn the light out, guys. And uh, see if that makes any difference. Oh, yeah, that's better. You can see how shiny it is now. So we've got our ice done. So now what I'm doing is just basically dressing up the walls. So I've done, uh, got a little junction box here. Nice black cable so it'll contrast. And then I'm just going to run the cable all the way along there. Do, 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 and hopefully it should end somewhere around there with this junction box here. That's the plan anyway. So while I'm doing that, I'm just watching... Amazing scale modelers, Sunday night hangout. Uh, so who says men can't multitask? But anyway, I'm gonna crack on with this guys and we'll be back as soon as we've got something else to show you. Then when I finish watching the hangout. <laughs> Catch you in a bit guys. Okay guys, so we're pretty much done now with this. So we've got the cable running around. Do another junction box down here, I've just used a bit of tulip. Just to fill in the seams there, uh, not the seams, the gaps that I've got. <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, we'll probably run a few more cables maybe, well maybe a cable up to here. Uh, and maybe another one out of that maybe. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today I think. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow. Something I know that much. Uh, what well, special thank? Uh, special congratulations to uh, Randall on uh, winning his prizes. So congratulations, Randall. Well done. And I'll uh, catch you on Tuesday. See you later. Hi guys, welcome back. It is contemplation Tuesday, and what I'm contemplating over at the moment is what else I can put on these walls because they're still looking a bit bare and at the moment this cable doesn't make any sense but it will do I promise this junction box here so we've got this cable running across here do -do 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 to this junction box there and that goes into a restricted area cut off from civilians so I'm go sorry guys it's a need to know basis and you don't need to know what's behind this wall so, getting back to this junction box here, this will make sense eventually because this will be screwed down to the base and we'll run a cable from there to the power generator, which we haven't seen this guy in a long time. But there's our little power jenny. So, we'll have a cable running from this guy along here into the power generator here. But, I do fancy putting another cable along the walls because one cable it just looks still looks a bit bare so what I've got for that ooh, sorry here's some scrap uh, washing line which is perfect because it's nice and pliable we can do some stuff with that uh, and we've also got some other random pieces here off the Millennium Falcon Revel kit and that's off an ambipure <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so we could possibly make a junction box out of this piece here. Um, mm, but where do we put it? That's what I'm dealing with at the moment. I suppose on the side we could maybe have the junction box somewhere there. And then the cable can run all the way down there. And I'll just put the camera down. Uh, and then we could have it drooping along the wall going all the way around to this door because I really want to cover this up here because it's a bit messy at the moment if we have a, a little look 
it's just full of filler at the moment so I'd, I'd rather have maybe a cable running across there down and again we'll take that cable from the base to the power generator so that makes sense I think that's probably the way to go uh, yeah I'm just you know half a modeling is just sat around doing nothing and thinking <laughs> and eventually you just need to get on and get on with it so I think that's what we'll do guys I think we'll run a cable over that door droop it all the way along and then up into there I think and I think we'll paint it silver so it contrasts the black so we'll be right back guys as soon as I've got something else to th uh, show you uh, okay see ya Welcome back guys, it is now Wednesday and believe it or not, yesterday took me two hours, two hours just to do this one little cable that runs around the door, it just would not glue and I have to do a lot of touch up painting on this now because I had to handle it that much that the paint's just come off it so I'll have to just touch that up, uh, but then again I might just leave it because it, it, it gives it a weathered look excuse me so hopefully today we'll get the rest of the cable coming out of this junction box here and going up the side of the wall and following the contours um, all the way up to this point here where we'll have another junction box which is this guy here uh, so this guy will be up here cable going into that hole there so that's the job for today, uh, I'm hoping it doesn't take 4 hours to set this up, hopefully it'll glue straight away and I can get on with job. So I'll be back as soon as I've got something else to show you guys. Alright guys, I think we're finally finally done with the cabling, so I'll take you, a quick, uh, take you for a quick tour. I don't know what it is with these engineers, but they love wasting electrical cable. You'd think they'd just do a straight line, but no. So we've got our other junction box there. And also if you follow the cable up here, we have another little junction box here. So that's basically the walls done now I think, I keep saying this and then I keep adding stuff to it but <laughs> I think the only thing that I will add is um, maybe some brackets holding the cables in position so they don't just look like they're just stuck there. Although I'm sure ice would have frozen them to the wall anyway but anyway I think I might just make a couple of brackets just for the main uh, sections here where it's the highest point um, but yeah um, the only thing now to do is uh, when this is attached to the uh, the base is I'm going to run a cable running along here up this wall into this junction box here so it sort of makes sense uh, I've got a man in there a rusty old door but yeah, uh, I think that's basically it. I'm going to let this glue set up now. Um, and I think... I think that does it for this update, I think, guys. Um, you, you've probably already seen pictures already on Facebook, because I'm really bad at like making a video, but taking photos at the same time, and the photos end up on uh, Facebook and Google Plus before the video's uploaded. So, but at least you can see a step-by-step... -step of if you remember like what it was like when we started and you've done all the resin on it and all that now um, so it's nice and glossy uh, but yeah um, I think that'll do it guys um, see you later actually guys I thought we'd just give a little shot of what the the thing looks like with the X-wing in So yeah, it contrasts really well with the walls. And it's been that long since I've set this ship up that I can't actually remember <laughs> what angle it was supposed to be at. Luckily I drew it out on the base. So I know it's not this angle, I think it's more inward, I think, like that. But I can't remember now, to be honest. But anyway, 
We've got all, that, all our little characters here. Got this guy here. Got the welder guy. We've got this clanker here. He's been reprogrammed, it's fine. He's not a danger. And also, I don't know if I showed this, maybe, but that's the uh, the wing piece on the table that we took off from there. So that'll be glued down to the table at some point. Yeah, we've got our C3PO ripoff, our power generator. So we'll be running cable from this guy up to the junction box there. And also, all the um, this is all going to have. Um, spotlights running around all aimed up at the ship so each one of those lights will be wired up to the generator over here as well so it'll all be interconnected um, so yeah and let's have a look through the gap in the holes at the back still got some filler work to do there and paint so just ignore that bit <laughs> we have that guy there working on one of the thrusters move around cables hanging down round to the side and then just ignore all that mess because that will all be tied into the base so yeah I'm really liking it at the moment, it really stands out. Um, yeah. So that will definitely do it now, guys. We'll end it on a high. <laughs> so I'll catch you in the next update, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.